Did you know that everyone watching this video underneath their clothes is absolutely naked? Something to think about and more about that in a minute. Now today we are looking at three advanced pronunciation rules that you might not know. Now the rules I have here are relatively easy to follow. They don't require any complicated tongue gymnastics. English pronunciation is sometimes quite difficult or rather the spelling and the pronunciation don't match. But here are a few rules that you can follow right now that will bring your pronunciation and your comprehension up a notch. And if you have an advanced level of English, these are rules that you should know. So let's go. Okay, so look at this word and tell me the correct pronunciation. L-E-A-R-N-E-D. Is it A, learned? B, learned? C, it depends, it could be either. Or D, learnt? Now you should know me by now, I'm not going to give you an easy question. Congratulations to those who said C. If you said D, in fact the past tense and the past participle of the verb to learn can be regular or irregular. Learned or learnt, both are correct. So why is the answer C? Well, you have an advanced level of English, so I'm sure you know already the pronunciation of the past of regular verbs. Okay, so for example, stop, stopped, jump, jumped, like, liked, moved, moved, rain, rained. You only add an extra syllable if the sound at the end of the word is a D or a T sound. Wait, waited, end, ended, rate, rated. But as I said, I'm not covering that in this video. You have an advanced level already, so you should know this. You'll have to look elsewhere for those rules in more detail. However, the point is that adjectives in English that end in ed, adjectives that are not formed from the past participle of a verb are pronounced differently. The ed at the end of the word is pronounced. It's pronounced as id. So let's have a look at some examples. Well, firstly, the sentence we looked at at the beginning of the video contains the word naked. That's right, naked. This is an adjective. There is no verb to nake, so it's always an adjective. I have heard learners say naked, but that's not correct. It's naked. They swam naked in the sea. Okay, another word beloved beloved occasionally I, i've heard beloved recently by native speakers but that's not really the standard form okay so the correct form is beloved okay so for example my beloved friend but the verb by the way is to love of course there is no verb to be love okay so she loved him that's regular but the adjective is beloved wretched which means to be in a bad or unfortunate situation I've had a wretched day wicked the dictator is a wicked man I'll let you add the name of the dictator yourself sacred okay another adjective sacred this holy site is sacred crooked that means not straight. The door is crooked. Rugged, meaning with a lot of rocks. The rugged terrain. Now it gets a bit complicated when you have words which are both adjectives and verbs. There are a few. Learned and learned. The question I gave you earlier, the verb is to learn. Okay, 
I learned a lot from this lesson. When it's an adjective to describe a person, it's learned. Okay, learned. You are a learned teacher. Learned means wise or knowledgeable. My learned friend. Aged. Now, as a verb, it's aged. The wine is aged for three years. As an adjective, it's aged. This weekend, I'm going to visit my aged grandparents. Blessed. As a verb, it's blessed. The preacher blessed the congregation. Congregation. That's difficult to say. As an adjective, it's blessed. Blessed be the meek. That's a quote from the Bible, I believe. Now, the second point is also about words that can have more than one pronunciation. In this case, whether it's a verb or a noun, or a verb and or an adjective, as we'll see in a moment. I've got an example of that. And today we're looking at some common words with S. So if you see H-O-U-S-E, you think, ah, that's pronounced house, aren't you? Aren't you? Well, yes and no. If it's a noun, yes, it's house. But if it's a verb, it's house. To house. I live in a big house. While the verb is pronounced house. Notice the pronunciation shift of the S to the Z sounds. The S to the Z. For example, these Van Gogh paintings are housed in a museum. We want to house the homeless, okay? Uh, to house, by the way, means to provide accommodation for. Now, let's look at U-S-E. Use, okay? If it's a verb, okay? But it also has this S to Z shift. The verb is more common to use. I use the metro every day. But the noun is use, the S sound. The use of social media during working hours is prohibited. Now, to close is a verb, has a Z sound, please close the door. But there's a, an adjective, different meaning, close, which is pronounced differently. Okay, I live close to the station. In some other words, we also have this verb down shift with the S and the Z but it's reflected in the spelling, which is more helpful. So let's have a look at a few examples of that. Advise and advice. So to advise has an S and a piece of advice has a C. Let me advise you with some advice. We have grass and to graze. Okay, different words, but you can see the S to Z shift from the noun and the verb. Okay, the cattle grazed on the grass. You have glass and to glaze. You glaze a window. Okay, put the glass in. By the way, we do have a video about this and some other cases where verbs and nouns are pronounced differently. And I'll leave a link in the description. Now, this next rule is mostly for British English, I believe. But even if you are learning American English or English from another part of the English-speaking world, you need to understand British English. So, listen out for this one. So, the rule is T-U, when it has the vowel sound oo, is usually pronounced ch like a ch as in church so for example tutor tune tuna tulip tube tuesday there are some people that will say tuesday but by far the most common pronunciation is the ch ch tuesday i say tuesday this also works for the T-U-R-E suffix within words. It's usually pronounced with a CH in British English. Lecture, literature, mature, rapture, 
capture, pasture, picture, culture. I teach in Paris and I hear this pronounced every day as culture. India has an interesting culture. No, it's pronounced culture, nature. The picture captures the nature of the culture. I will lecture about the temperature of the structure. You can tune a guitar, but you can't tune a fish. Around the rugged rocks, the wretched rascal round, ran, ran, ran. Around the rugged rocks, the wretched rascal ran.